Hey, what's up everybody? Michael the Ark here. Today I'm going to be showing you specifically how to get the skill kills and accolades. Uh, and also, this is mainly for the Technomancer, but for the skill called uh, Fixing Wave. You have to heal for 200,000 health. There's a very easy way to do this within about five minutes. Uh, and it's just super easy. So you want to be on world tier one to start with. Or you don't have to be. You can be on uh, your highest world tier. Or I would say put it on world tier three. So you want to come here to the first city. Go up here to Hangman's Tree. This is going to give you an excellent thing here so what we're gonna do is before i head over here i'm going to grab a few different pieces of gear um i want like this one this piece of gear fixing wave reduces the skills pull down by 20 percent so that's gonna really really help with getting that um, and here, I want that one, I believe, for this one, I'm still going to go with the freezing boost, I think. Um, if you are using Tools of Destruction, Grim Inventor's Legs is excellent. I'll, I'll actually go ahead and throw this on the show. Uh, I, I prefer having... Um, if I'm going to be using this at all, I like having Gloves of Borealis. And then the... I think it was this one here. Uh, yes, yes. Torrential Downpour's foot here is absolutely imperative to one thing. You can actually get infinite ammo with your... Uh, tools of destruction and your blighted round play uh, so you really want to have that piece of gear if you can get that uh, as with always i am going to start off i'm going to skip the harvest points but i am going to get my best uh, the harvest points can give you titanium so you probably want to go ahead and pick them up but uh for for farming the, the cold snap, you want to have five of them in a row, basically, or five of them around you. Do there I go. That's one of them. Uh, you want to have that at least, I think it's 50 times or 150 times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to freeze them you can just stand there and freeze them over and over but this time I'm gonna go ahead and blow them up and I'm gonna let about four waves of them come in I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna blow them up now this is working on two of them right now the the cold snap and the pulls is what this would be doing, or you could be doing glider rounds with this. Now, you see my ammo where it's at. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and hit fixing wave. And that is actually going to reload my ammo. I see that there's several up here. I want to wait until there is only one So I'm going to go ahead and drop that. I'm going to take out the pistol. Alright. There's only one left. Okay. So I'm going to freeze him. You don't want it to damage him when you freeze him. Go in here. Change your world tier to world tier 3. And at this point, all you want to do 
let him attack you until you are down to yellow and there you go you just pop that at that point you what i do is i try to let it i've look at how much health i have and i try to let it go down to where i'm going to get about eight thousand at least so when he comes back over here when he hits about four thousand i'm going to pop just like that and it's very easy to do it that point do it that way uh, it's super easy to heal up you only want to have one if you have multiples it's too unpredictable of when they're going to hit you there you go i'm going to go ahead and take them out and at this point if you want to farm up other stuff in the next area all you got to do is go back up here the world tier one after you've got those um, i would freeze them all first and then do the uh the health one there fixing wave uh for your other skills what i would do is have fixing wave and cold snap on and then for all of the, every single one of the other skills, just take these and put them in the middle. And all you got to do is use that skill there in the middle, or you can put it wherever you want it, uh, in conjunction with Fixing Wave and Cold Snap. You're going to be able to really quickly go through them all. Uh, my specific build that I use is quite different than this, but... This is actually a really, really good build here uh, to use Cold Snap and Fix the Wave to replenish your ammo. Uh, it, it works excellently. Uh, taking out big bosses, high level big bosses easily just doing this, the Fixing Wave and Tools of Destruction and stuff. So uh, just, if that's how, if that's the things that you're wanting to go for, the accolades and that is the easiest way to go for for Technomancer. For your accolades for your other characters, um, I have not really farmed any of them, but with everything that I know of with the uh, Pyromancer, absolutely it would work the same way. You just come over here on Tier 1 and go through it. For what I know of my Trickster, so far, I think that you would just come right over here and do the same thing. Um, now, the only thing is with Trickster, you want to actually, you can't do a Slow Trap here. You actually need to be using Slow Trap out there with enemies that can shoot at you. So, uh, that's the only one that I know of right now that you can't use that on. And for Devastator, uh, with Devastator, I would say the same thing goes kind of with the Fixing Wave as Gollum does. I'm not exactly sure. I guess with this one here, you would have to have uh, actual enemies that are shooting at you. Um... Yeah, everything else you can do here. So it's only like three skills, two skills maybe, that you can't do here. And then there's two healing type skills or health type skills that you have to sort of change it up. With this one here, where uh, absorb a thousand damage, I would say probably go ahead and do that on your uh, tier three, world tier three or something. I think that would probably be the best. That it, it probably is going to be very easy to go through and do all. But that is the best way to get the skill accolades. And I'll see y'all next time. If you liked my content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.